Hello students, welcome to e Patshala. I am P.G. Patma Gauri, working as an assistant professor, faculty of engineering, Avinash Lingam University. Today we are going to discuss about research institutions related to housing. Introduction Housing provides tremendous scope across the world, especially in developing countries like India. Apart from being one of the three basic necessities of life, adequate housing helps to address an important social determinant of health and prevent diseases, injury and death, provides security and increases household and national income. It has become a top priority for the government and the society at large to address this issue. This is particularly severe in cities because by 2025, more than 50% of the population is expected to reside in urban settlement in search of stability and income. This would lead to a shortage of 25 million housing units, that is 99% of it being in the economically weaker section and the low income housing space. Through this study, we intend to find viable solutions to address the growing problem of low-cost urban housing in India. Objectives To know about low-cost urban housing in India, to understand key initiatives for housing sectors in India. Present housing scenario in India India is a high population country where approximately 70% of the people reside in rural areas. These people are migrating to urban settlement in search of jobs and better living standards. Scale of the problem, state-wise and category-wise housing strategies are available in India. The list of states have high volume of housing shortage in the order of few millions. Maharashtra followed by Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal, etc. And India's 99% urban housing shortage is becoming primarily driven by the economically weaker section EWS and the low income housing LIH categories. Advantages of low cost housing. The following are the advantages of low cost housing. Economic benefits to the community. Affordable housing provides direct economic advantages to the immediate community. Since the houses are affordable, people will have uh, extra money to spend. This is going to lead to an increase in demand of various services and goods, further leading to increased employment opportunities. Provides a diverse workforce. The best thing about affordable housing is a fact that is accommodates individuals with different skills that are beneficial to the community. For instance, construction workers, bus drivers, cleaners, shop assistants, teachers and nurses are well catered under affordable housing and thus they can provide their important services to the community. Promote social and economic integrations. Affordable housing ensures low cost housing due to which such families can afford to meet their respect, health and education cost. This is also beneficial as it provides an adequate security of tenure for improving an individual's capacity to get and also maintain employment. In addition to that, affordable housing enables people not to migrate from their root place. Stronger labor force. Through affordable housing, the employees will live near their respective employment centers and this leads to a stronger labor force. The work is also going to be done quickly since the people living in the immediate vicinity and can go to work quickly. Disadvantages of low cost housing Issues or disadvantages for people living in the low cost housing are the following. The low cost housing will not satisfy all the needs of the people. The residents have limited money so they will be less likely to improve or maintain their homes or surrounding environments. Houses have a simple layout that may or may not have living area separate from a sleeping area and large family inhabit will probably two people per bedroom 
and 3 p in the living room make the space overcrowded. There will be no choice or control of public type to reside near or adjacent as your neighbors. Organizational Framework for Housing in India India has a developing housing market. Therefore, government intervention is required to provide housing sector, building homes which are the most profitable and instead providing a greater focus on providing affordable housing. State intervention is currently inconsistent, so stronger national guidance required to provide the housing and land and control over the housing land price if it is needed. Infrastructure needs subsidy and forward funding from government to establish basic and new community for better coordination between the service provider needed. Construction Private sector does this best. Government need to set consistent build and minimum space standards and enforce them. Government construction subsidy required with cost of the building homes is greater than its value. Revenue subsidy Affordable rented housing needs the support of the government with the rent support, rent deposit, etc. to provide confidence to investors. Role of central government in housing. It promotes the growth of housing stock in the country. It ensures availability of housing and rental stock for economically weaker sections. It promotes low cost financing and microfinancing opportunity for the housing sector. Role of state government in housing. State specific policies focused on affordable housing with supporting action for supply of land at affordable prices should be developed. State to draw the roadmap and a vision for a slum free city. Rapidly upgrade civic infrastructure to expand city limits and establish satellite towns. State must be ensure rapid connectivity between existing urbanized limits and new for location to ensure lack of infrastructure does not uh, affect the target beneficiary from the projects. Single line approval. The state might be provide the single line approval that is the project plans, unit layouts and pricing proposal is to be duly approved by single government body. State housing boards. The role of state housing boards to be reactivated with definite purpose and targets. State housing boards should also be encouraged to focus on playing more active role in provision of affordable housing even if it is through public-private partnership. The role of non-profit organization and corporative sector employer welfare association for housing. This organization plays an important role for housing sectors. Thus, some factors are land at institutional rates should be made available to those corporative housing societies and employee welfare organization that have a good track record for the development of low income housing. Apart the funds should also earmark for the development of housing rooted through non-government organizations, NGOs and community based organizations, CBOs. Undertake land accessibility and development with special focus on housing with complementary basic services. Design public-private partnership for slum reconstructions on a cross-stabilization basis. Private developers. The private developers' role for the housing are listed below. Private developers undertake constructions of affordable housing in partnership with the states. Compensate the lower profit margin with the volumes involved within the segment provides great business opportunity for private sectors. Private sectors invest in innovative construction technology to promote mass housing development at subsidized construction cost. It also establishes R&D centers for identifying new technologies and opportunities. It follows the quality control and monitoring standards to ensure developments and habitable and specifications of permissible quantity and quality. Maintain housing as a priority asset and continue stabilized pricing for budget housing development. Maintain 30 to 40 percent pricing discount from the market rate. These are some points should be provided by the private developers in the housing sectors.
housing in india the housing shortage in india is enormous 26 million homes are projected to be required by 2012 to meet existing housing needs and 99% of these homes are needed by households in the economically weaker section and low income group india is witnessing increasing level of urban population nearly 28% of country's population lives in cities and urban areas double the level of urbanization at the time of independence in, in 1947 and it is expected to rise 40% by 2020 poverty and the large scale population growth huge rate of urbanization as people move from the countryside into the cities will add up to shortage in the housing sectors faced with the prospects of housing that poor cannot be either offered or assess in formal housing markets millions of household around the world turn instead of informal sector resulting in slums having becoming a yeah, inevitable part in indian metropolitan cities given a magnitude of housing shortage and budgetary constraints of both central and state governments it is clear that public sector efforts will not be sufficient to fulfill the housing demand in india the government is seeking to private ventures to provide the housing to meet the goal of affordable housing for all key initiative for housing sectors in india national housing policy was revised in 2007 with a special focus on housing for urban poor there is a market shift from the lens of public sector housing and the importance in investing private sector is understood and acknowledged by the government guidelines for rajiv avas yojana have been drawn which would ensure that poor are accorded legal property rights a slum survey was conducted to ascertain the magnitude of slum population states are undertaking upward revision of permissible floor space index fsi or floor area ratio far state governments are willing to provide cross subsidies to developers in the form of transferable development rights or higher fsi to initiate low cost housing the few developers have seen the business opportunity that is waiting to be tapped and are devising innovative models and strategies to provide low cost houses in the faster rate housing markets in india housing industry is important systematically as it affects 269 industries for example large medium small like cement steel paints building hardware etc directly and indirectly a number of efforts were made by different institutions to help the develop the market for housing the guidelines issued by the reserve bank encourage the development of housing sector loans extended up to stipulated amount in the housing sector were included in the priority sector and targets were set for commercial bank to lend to this sector in this context hudco and also national housing bank were instrumental in developing the housing finance markets the government also stipulated that life insurance corporation of india lic general insurance corporation of india gic and provident funds are required to invest housing sectors banks and housing finance companies hfcs are the major players in the housing finance market in india while banks are subject to regulation and supervision by reserve bank of india hfc are regulated and supervised by national housing bank under the provision of national housing bank act 1987 and the direction and guidelines issued there under from time to time the regulatory measures include prudential norms transparency and standardized accounting and disclosure policies fair practice code asset liability management and other risk management practices etc these measures have helped to ensure the development of sector on healthy and sustainable line reserve bank of india the rbi mainly regulates the housing loan segment of scb by prescribing loan to value ratios ltv and stipulating various risk weight 
The LTV ratio is one of the important 21 parameters which are generally examined by banks, financial institutions and other lenders for assessing lending risk against a mortgage. National Housing Bank NHB regulates a market by extending refinance to primary lending institutions, stipulating risk weights and LTVs for the HFCs and devising different schemes to develop housing market. National Housing Bank extend financial assistance to banks, HFC and corporative sector institutions towards their individual housing loans. Policy recommendation for housing in India. The housing sector plays an important role in any economy. Extensively, the documented is empirical literature at any stock to the housing sector significantly impacts consumption and economic growth. There are number of players in the housing markets. These are commercial banks, housing finance company, corporate banks and non-bank finance companies. And then there are builders, developers and contractors both in the private and public sector. Some of these market players are not covered by any regulator or supervisor while the financial aspects of many are regulated by RBI and NHB who taken the market concerned effort to strengthen housing market in India. In the view of fact that housing is personal wealth, its demand is closely related to socio-economic strategy of population. For instance, in some parts of India, joint family may still preferred while in order to other parts, nuclearization of family may be created. Similarly, housing requirements in terms of size and constructional material is not depends on the size of the family but also climatic geographical condition in that region. The type of house required would vary across different regions in India. Therefore, there is need to undertake in-depth research on housing for each specific state assessing the housing requirements in different region, climate and socio-economic strategy of society. The housing shortage determined by factors like congestion, absence and homeless needs to be revisited to effectively in the various states where the people migrate in the cities. A number of housing community constructed by central government to take in care of homeless poor people in the cities, which is estimated 18 million houses in 2012 have declined from 20 million houses in 2007. Thus, there may be a need for adopting a survey based approach to understand these issues associated with preference of residents in various socio-economic levels and geographical region before computing figures of housing shortage in India. In the case such substantial shortage is established, then India needs to consider various ways to meet the needs for substantial amount of cement, iron and steel, sanitary well, plumbing material, wood and other materials including raw materials of housing and electricity should be provided for housing etc. The country does have some installed capacity but it would go too long to provide these needs. India could consider important in housing that is the prices will be subsidiary rate, substantial amount of raw material will be provided, prefabricated walls and doors will be formed. Cement products and pumping materials is, should be make easily available, etc. In addition to raw materials, India could also consider importing wooden fittings given in the low cost and large quantity. It also supports the technology to provide the low cost housing. To ensure planned urbanization, there is a need for active town planning undertaken at the state and town level and aggressively implemented across the state to avoid congestion, traffic problems and slums. Allot land for the housing, parking facilities and garbage disposal. Facilitate the clean environment for the 
housing system. It also helps to design building both residential and office which are environmentally friendly and conserve the electricity and energy. C coming to the conclusion, a society's housing system is a complex and unique response to the potential legal and economic situation at a point in time. Different housing systems are modeled and successfully implemented by various sectors in the country. Some of the housing sectors have good quality affordable housing while others do not. Better housing appears to be negatively correlated with the central centrality of delivery system and positively correlated with the ability to use the land as security for financing. Government owned affordable housing development cooperation which is extremely efficient and effective in producing housing. The central and state governments need to increase research on housing sector as a healthy housing sector can be ensure a strong Indian national economy. Thank you.